Sharp drum lines continue to polarise public opinion. Well, it's a tough one because obviously I would believe that you'd have to put human lives first, but then at the same time, I know it's to protect like the wildlife and the Great Barrier Reef and stuff, So, but I would always say protect human lives first. If, if, they, if they're scared to go into the water, then they shouldn't necessarily go in the water because when it, it's their territory. The state government is being accused of putting politics before public safety after it removed 160 drum lines across 27 beaches within the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. What I want to happen now is for Queensland to put those drum lines back in the water. They got them out pretty quickly. They can put them back pretty quickly. And we are, of course, committed to working cooperatively with them as we work through the further details of what we need to do inside the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. All 160 drum lines were ripped from the water just 24 hours after a federal court decision preventing the killing of sharks caught by baited lines. The federal court recommended a tag and release system, but the state government says it's not a viable option. It wants the drum lines back in the water. And we're calling on the federal government to move urgent legislation to allow us as a government uh, with a shark control program that's been proven to be successful since 1962. The state opposition has lashed out at the Palaszczuk government, claiming it's only a matter of time before someone is killed. First we had blood on our hands and then we had feeding people to the sharks. Can we just properly resource this and protect our staff, restore Queensland's reputation built over half a century and end this Jaws soundtrack masquerading as government policy? It's the most motivated I've ever seen this government uh, of, with something that's about public safety. As the drumline debate rolls on, a number of regional tourism operators are still struggling following the raft of shark attacks at the end of 2018. You know, you, you've got to go and talk to the with Sunday tourism authorities right now. They're doing it really tough at the moment. Perhaps the most uh, substantial year in terms of toughness since the global financial crisis. Brendan Smith, Sky News.